everyone! Today, let us see how we use the TrueBot RPA and TrueCat Plus IDP integration for bank reconciliation. The bot receives input files from multiple channels. The bank statement is downloaded from the MS Outlook Mail, the General Ledger, or GL, and the account history reports are retrieved from the shared folder, and the previous month's reconciliation sheet is exported from Salesforce system. After receiving all the documents, the bot sends the bank statement to TrueCat Plus to extract the data. After data extraction, the bot reconciles the reports through three-way matching and generates the current month's bank reconciliation report. The bot then posts the data back to Salesforce as a final step and stops the execution. Let us now see the actual demo. The bot receives the GL and account history reports through a shared folder into a local folder. The bot downloads the bank statement PDF file into the TrueCat Plus folder for data extraction. This is the folder structure where the bot saves the input files. This is the bank reconciliation template for preparing the current month's bank reconciliation sheet. This is the TrueBot cockpit. Let us see the bot execution from here. This is the bot. Once we click the play button, the bot executes the job. We can see the status in the dashboard. The bot is being deployed and after deployment, it executes. As we can see, the bank reconciliation process has started. The bot starts retrieving all the files. The bot now logs into Salesforce to download the previous month's bank reconciliation file. It then moves the file to folder. The bot retrieves the GL and the bank statement files from the shared location. Now, the bot starts matching the logs in the bank statement with GL, account history report, and previous month's bank reconciliation sheet then creates the current month's bank reconciliation sheet. Here, the green color means complete match. Yellow color depicts a many to one match. The red color depicts the transactions not matched. After this step completes, the bot generates three files, which are then uploaded to the shared folder for the end user to validate and verify. It then posts the outstanding transactions into Salesforce. As the last step, the bot logs into Salesforce to upload the entries. Once all the entries are posted, the bot execution stops. As we can see here, the outstanding transactions found in the bank statement are uploaded into Salesforce, along with the date and description. Debit entries have a negative value. Credit transactions are updated as positive values. So once the entries are posted into Salesforce, the bot stops execution. So now we will see the bank reconciliation sheet with the outstanding balance. The bot has created the data for the June month end. The balance per bank is $13,575.88. However, the outstanding checks remaining even this month. So if you deduct the outstanding amount from $13,575.88, the balance will be $12,927.88. Now we will see the balance per book. The balance per book is $12,107.88. These are the not matched transactions. One is a debit transaction and two other credit transactions. So if you make a calculation, the adjusted book balance will be to $12,927.88. So this is how the bank reconciliation executes. The bot shares three output files, that is, bank reconciliation, bank statement, and GL reco with the end user for verification and validation through the shared folder. Also, we have seen the bot has done the posting of the entries into the Salesforce. Now, let us go and see the status of the bot in a TrueBot cockpit. So, as we can see here, the bot has completed the execution. The execution is 100% and we can also see the duration 2 minutes 42 seconds. Bot has taken the time to complete this process. Thank you for watching this demo. You can find more information at automation.datamatics.com. Thank you.